So where are you looking for? Oh, Cordova Bay. Cordova Bay, so we're up, uh, you're up here. Here somewhere, eh? Yeah. There we go. Oh. Thank you, Thank sir. You. What are we so, doing here, Mike? Well, we're just trying to figure out how far people uh, ro are riding on the trail, so where they're coming from. So all these pins represent where people started this morning. Uh, obviously, we know that right now they're down here at the uh, at the Selkirk Trestle, but uh, uh, generally we're trying to figure out how far out people are using the trail for commuting to work and that sort of thing, um, and how far off the trail they live, and, and look at the trends of, uh, of trail use. That's and so that helps us figure out, um, you know, how to how to market the trail, what our trail usership is like, um, you know, how far people are are traveling, and uh, we can do lots of stuff with that information. What's we the can, farthest one we got so far? Uh, well, we're, there's one lady that came from out in the Chosen, out uh, off Happy Valley Road. So that's a fairly long uh, long ride this morning for her on a on a wet morning. But oh, that's uh, pretty cool, and you got a really good turnout here considering. The weather. Ah, fantastic, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. So, uh, and it's great because all, all these bikes are, uh, are saving uh, carbon emissions. So, you know, we can also figure that out from this. We can figure out how, how, how many miles people traveled and how many cars that uh, that eliminated from the road and and, uh, and how many uh, pounds of uh, co2 was saved good stuff well thanks a lot for taking a moment with us you bet thank you well we're um, specifically here on behalf of uh, Sandage Parks uh, we have our third year in the row, we've uh, set up this booth with the Bike to Work Celebration Station, and w our promotion is Share the Trail. Uh, for Sandwich, it's the Lockside Trail that we're promoting to share, and so we have uh, with us some pledge cards. Uh, people pledge to share the trail, and we're promoting it and we're rewarding them with a bike bell that also says Share the Trail. And they told us it'd be a big turnout here, and this is huge. Yeah, it is. It's been just marvelous. We've uh, almost we're almost depleted of bike bell. And, and the share of the trail, share, share it with what? Well, it's just it's it's promoting courtesy on the trail. Uh, the trail, as you've probably seen today, has been just busy as all get out, and uh, people really need to uh, be courteous towards others. And so there's a number of a number of points made on the pledge card that uh, people read and sign, and we tell them they're sworn to to it and and um, give them a bell. I think and and share of course with rider with walkers and and uh, dog walkers and and uh, these bells. Uh, I use my bell all the time. I'm, I ride the goose as much as I can, and uh, I really uh, find it, it it it's very appreciated by people you're coming up to on your bike and and. Uh, and they, you know, many people just thank us to do that. And when I see a dog on a leash, uh, I want to make sure that it's been been uh, controlled because uh, we don't want to have a collision there. It's been terrific. Yeah, yeah, we really really enjoy doing this because uh, we feel we get a lot of message. Plus, we're promoting parks uh, out in Sandage. Uh, we're very proud of our park system, and so we're handing out a lot of trail guide, park and trail guides, and and uh, that's been uh, very uh, rewarding to to see so much interest. Um, myself and uh, David uh, Coverley, who was then a Saanich councillor, and we were both working in, in uh, cabinet ministers' uh, offices uh, under the NDP government. And um, uh, the government had a commitment to uh, trying to reduce the uh, uh, impact of uh, too many cars on the road, uh, especially in downtown uh, Victoria, because they were looking to expand uh, office space. So as part of a transportation demand management uh, program, uh, we came up with the idea of, of doing a bike to work week. Some ideas have been kicking around about uh, a bike to work day as a promotion uh, and I had uh, just moved back from uh, Central Canadian Exile in Ottawa um, where they'd had uh, a bike to work week and I said well you know let's do the, the whole week and here's some uh, events that they've done in Ottawa a free uh, pancake breakfast, uh, a, um, uh, a car bike race challenge and a couple of other things uh, that we could lift from, from Ottawa and bring to Victoria and say here's how we populate the week uh, with events. So we, we started that in 1995 which seems like an awful long time ago now. 
um, and here we are in 2010 and we've grown and changed the event uh, every year since then so we took some of those original ideas and grew them into our celebration stations and of course cyclists are always hungry so food has always been a big part of it um, and the car bike challenge that we initially did one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, that year has grown into a bigger uh, commuter challenge so drawing people from uh, around the region to compete with their friends or colleagues to see who can uh, get to our, our uh, results check-in point uh, uh, quicker and it's it's not really about um, racing cars against uh, bikes it's just trying to demonstrate that uh, a bicycle is competitive with cars uh, in terms of travel times because often enough people say well I don't have time to ride my bike to work but if you can demonstrate that uh, it's time competitive then you can say well you've lost that excuse now because you'll get to work just as quickly and it's not only the time it the parking is huge the parking is a huge issue and uh, um, certainly uh, you, you know the demand for bike parking uh, downtown at workplaces and out in the public realm uh, you can see that there's a lot of competition out there we're doing a lot of work to try and improve that we're improving the infrastructure um, to uh, support uh, your choice to choose uh, cycling um, and uh, you know there's all these different uh, pieces of the puzzle um, that I've been working on or that collectively the cycling communities been working on to make it easier for people to choose cycling. You gotta have the stuff on the ground, but the promotion that Bike to Work Week does is, is, a, is a critical uh, piece because, uh, you know, we started with the original slogan from Bike to Work Week was, bike it, you'll like it. Um, because uh, we wanted to, people to just give it a try, and that's what Bike to Work Week is all about. Try it out, you'll find that it's enjoyable, it's healthy, you get your physical activity uh, um, as part of your daily routine. Uh, and you might then decide this is easy enough that I can do it uh, more often. And we've had numbers of cyclists over the year come and tell us basically that they started during Bike to Work Week, uh, but they've now turned into uh, regular uh, cyclists. So one by one, we're picking them off and uh, uh, taking people out of their cars with the carrots um, and, rather than the stick uh, and getting them to uh, bike to work. Uh, so enormously successful. Uh, I'm proud of uh, the role I played in it. Um, and, now, and we're expanding it as well across British Columbia um, and we've got communities uh, elsewhere in North America who are uh, adopting elements of our model as well. Uh, every year the numbers are getting higher and we're always trying to think of uh, what new initiatives can we uh, uh, take around uh, the margins of the event? We've got our core uh, core uh, program with the celebration stations and the commuter challenge and the team building that's uh, been uh, very successful. But how do we add value uh, to make it fun, draw on the media, do something different so that uh, every year there's uh, a fresh look to Bike to Work Week and we can keep on growing? You know, the, uh, the, the, the mode share, the, the share of traffic that is made up by bicycles in Victoria Greater Victoria, it's about 8% uh, in the journey to work market, uh, so we've got a long ways to go. We want to match Copenhagen uh, uh, at over 30% someday, um, so we're not done yet.